What's up you guys, my name is Gunther Oka and welcome to the channel. I'm a professional wakeboarder, water sports enthusiast of all sorts, and today we're covering the brand new mid-season release from Liquid Force, which is gonna be our Orb and our Horizon 155 foil set. This thing is a blast, so stoked that they added it to the line mid-season. Let's dive in, cover this guy. Here at Liquid Force, we've just been constantly trying to evolve and update our foil kits with the times. All the other brands are doing a really great job of like pushing the sport forward, and so we want to try to keep up and continue to play our part in this awesome part of Toad Water Sports. With that in mind, we've got a new release of our Orb foil board. So this is going to come in a 3.6 which is super tiny and super lightweight. And uh, it's got our EPS foam core construction with the stringer and then all wrapped in carbon. So super lightweight and super durable and just a fun little playful board. Outline of this thing too, has kind of got that wide nose for easy takeoffs and really easy to recover on once you breach that wing and need to set the board back down on the water. As we move away from the board, we've got a new redesigned 28 inch carbon mast. It's got a little bit more material up top and then as it tapers to the bottom, this allows for a stiffer and more responsive ride. And then we've also kind of tapered the trailing edge, making it a little sharper, adding some speed and just like nice hydrodynamics to the mast here. Now we're onto the good stuff, which is gonna be our 155 Horizon wing. This is a playoff of our Horizon 160 and honestly our Horizon 125, kind of combining the best of those two and making it even better. The set also comes with our shorter fuselage, which is the 44 centimeter, and then we've also got our 24 inch tail wing with the little winglets on this guy. When you take a look at the 155, one thing that we did to really try to help just kind of increase the maneuverability and the fun on this wing is tapering and thinning out the foil section. So a thinner foil section for increased speed, flattening the wings a little bit, and then drawing the cord length out, which is gonna give you a lot more low end speed. So perfect for that nine to 11 mile per hour behind the boat. And yeah, this is the foil that's gonna work the best at those speeds. Tail wing here is really where some of the magic happens with these curved up winglets and then a just a nice flat profile for the tail wing. You get a ton of stability and a ton of lift and pump um, off the bottom here. And then just these winglets kind of help keep you carving and tracking on a nice stable path. The 44 fuselage is also a really fun change that comes with this Horizon 155 set. Having a shorter fuselage is essentially like loosening your trucks a little bit, having a shorter wheelbase. What it really does is it allows for sharper and more whippable turns. Not only that, you get a little bit of added pitch adjustment to the foil, meaning that you can kind of pump it up and down a little bit quicker and make those real small adjustments. So it does add to the sensitivity, but it opens up a whole new door of fun. When you begin, you may feel it kind of be a little bit more unstable under your feet. Make sure to stay low on the takeoff and you should breeze right past this. I've got my mast um, quite far back due to how much lift that this foil gives you. I'll probably move it forward to around the quarter section uh, once we go hit the water, but I'd say it's time for that. We're gonna load up in the Axis A24, have a beautiful wake on that thing, and go do some carving, have some fun with this guy. Let's do it. So on the Axis A24, we are running the wedge and lift mode at 11.5 mile an hour, and also the ballast around half weight. But as you can see, the 155 foil does such a good job of recovering out of breaches carrying that speed and momentum far into the bottom turn and also allowing those tips to kind of breach on the top turn. I think a lot of the cord being pulled back has to help with the breaches like that and then allowing it to recover. So as big of a foil as it is, it's still really rippable and real carvy and even when paired with that 3.6 orb is super fun. But I wanted to show you guys this video of my dad and my uncle foiling and kind of just seeing how this foil is really well versed going from rippable tight turns to you know that beginner intermediate level and this is also on a 93 ski nautique with not a whole lot of push but really making the most of it and then back to the small wave game we're here on our foil anything shoot with liquid force and luca and megan absolutely destroyed the 155 making really fun turns and just having an effortless flight behind outboards and even on a pontoon so showing the versatility of the 155, um, you know, and how well it's paired for these slower speeds and specifically wake foiling is just so much fun to see. 
However, I did want to leave you with one, one little piece and something we didn't cover, and that is the pump ability of this foil. So here we're on the super small day as we were prone foiling in the ocean on the 155. And so notice how when pumping, the best way I can describe it is that this foil feels like it wants to give back to you. So off of every pump you take, you can just feel that wing giving back, giving you that flight, giving you that distance as well. And uh, it's super easy to recover. And it's just a great all around stable wing to ride. But even here, it fits nicely in the pocket with a little hack and then even maneuverable enough to get some fun little cutbacks in. If you haven't tried foiling in the ocean yet, I highly recommend it, it's a blast. But also guys, I hope you enjoyed the review and the video on the 155. It is the awesome foil to get just your feet wet with, get that next level of foiling going and have fun with it. Thanks for watching, peace.